how do you deal with the idea of Level 42, uh, a band of jazz rock music? How do we deal with that? I mean, what about the way that we're actually called a jazz funk band? I, I'm not so sure that that's really true, actually. Yeah. Because it's uh, like, um, we, we've had a, quite a problem in the last, certainly in the last five years, of getting off the dance floor. People tend to assume that the band is just like a club band with records like Hot Water and uh, the Sun Goes Down and that sort of thing. But if you listen to any of the, the the albums that the band's done, you know, I know that not many people do, <laughs> but if you do listen to them, you'll find that there's lots of different kinds of music, you know, that it's like, we're not, it's not just jazz and funk. Mm -hmm. It's very much as I said earlier on about the fact that we have all these, all these influences and, you know, they, they all sort of get mixed together so that they're like, there are some ballads and there are some up things, new things. I think on World Machine, uh, when writing the, the album with Wally, with Wally Badaru, um, we definitely made a shift from perhaps virtuosity as musicians into sort of concentrating on playing and shifted it to uh, strength in songwriting. The 50s? <laughs> the 60s? What the fuss about a uh, jazz rock thing? And uh, is it a solo matter? Uh, oh, I don't know. I think jazz rock, you have to shut your eyes when you play. That's jazz rock, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And if, it, if you open it... Shake it too. It's uh, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, with, I think that the word jazz, right, scares a lot of people. They, I think they assume that if it's... Uh, I found it very interesting when I was in America, um, sort of, that when I was in New York, I listened to a lot of jazz stations and stuff. And I think that jazz is like any other medium that really sort of the, the large percentage of it, sort of, I don't know, 75, 80 percent of jazz is terrible. Mm -hmm. It's played by people that don't play it very well. On the other hand, the, the other percentage is brilliant. You know, you have the masters like the Coltrane's and Davis's mm. and this, that and the other. And um, the same with other music. You know, 80% of pop music is pretty bad. Um, Sig Sig Sputnik, you were talking about just now, you know. I mean, they're a riot. Those guys are... Well, you know, I don't know. These 70s... When the band began, um, there was this... It was like punk music had come and gone. A new wave even had come and was starting to die out. This is in 1980. And what happened was that you were left with lots of um, guys with independent record labels because this was uh, the big thing that came out of punk music. Only now, suddenly, they were looking for any bands to record that were not punk. And uh, there was also this trend starting up because of like all the negativeness and the anarchy involved in punk music. Suddenly, it turned right round and now it was very fashionable to go to clubs and to dance, you know, doing all this stuff. And the fact that we grew up th in Britain through the 1960s and 70s, you know, and listened to bands like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Cream, all these are influences there, you know, you can't ignore what you grow up with and listen to. And it all sort of gets jumbled together and uh, comes out sounding like Level 42, really, mm -hmm. which is a mess. <laughs> and finally, the 80s. Thank you. So, if not the, the next big thing, will you tell us names of bands who are looking to make our lives a lot brighter for, for this year, 86? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Except, level 42, level 42 well. right? Yeah, you're always, we're a bargain, you know, we always make everybody's life much brighter. Yeah. <laughs> who else? I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to say because in this business, it's like you're only as good as your last record, it seems to me. Yeah. You know, musical ability, seems to it doesn't have much to do with anything anymore and i think that's a real tragedy uh you know it's like we're in the middle of, of a decade again it, when we were halfway through the 70s music was going through a real lull you know and music now is going through a real lull mm -hmm. and it's everyone sort of is looking around and thinking what's going to happen next you know what are we look waiting for and uh i don't know i know it's not sig sig's but